Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a bit of a collective haul to show you guys. So I have been collecting some stuff from Aritzia. I have a Sephora haul that I wanna show you guys and some couple other random things like that. I'm super excited about all of these items and I'll try to have everything that I talk about in this video linked down below like usual. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to stick around. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first place I'm to start off with is Aritzia. I have some really, really exciting items. The first piece that I have is this super cute knit tank top. This is from the brand Babaton. And I don't know if you guys can see the texture. It's like a ribbing material and like a sweater material. It is so thick and such good quality. When I tell you guys, this is like the nicest quality tank top I've ever, ever had. It's literally amazing and it's super form fitting and it's super, super flattering. I love it. I have it in a size medium. This one is called the Sculpt Knit Cropped in Black. So, so cute. I believe they have other colors as well, but it looks like this and it is just so, so stunning. And I liked how it isn't too cropped and it's also not too long. It just sits perfectly right here, like a little bit below your belly button. It is just the most perfect tank top. Like I said, such good quality and like this knit material. I like everything from Babaton from Aritzia. Um, it's just such a nice quality brand. So this is the first thing that I picked up from Aritzia. So the second thing that I got from Aritzia are these flare leggings. I have already worn them, I think once or twice already. So I already have a pair of these flare leggings in the black color. And this is the Aritzia TNA brand, which is their own line. And these are the butter leggings. So they are just so, so freaking soft and such good quality and nice, nice, buttery nice thick material it just snatches your body your waist it's so so comfortable i'm really obsessed with it so i picked it up in this really pretty gray color my leggings are in black and i want to try to divulge a little and go into other colors so i thought this gray color would be so pretty like i said this is the butter quality line at aritzia and it is a 10 out of 10 amazing highly recommend you guys trying out tna which is aritzia's own line they have so many cute tank tops i have these in a size small and they fit perfectly so this is the second thing that i picked up from aritzia so the last thing that i picked up from aritzia is something that i am so excited for i have been eyeing this for years but I've never gone it just because it is very pricey. But now that I moved to Seattle and it is so cold and rainy and snowy here, it was definitely an investment that I wanted to make. And that is their iconic Super Puff. I used to think that Aritzia owned Super Puff, but I don't think so. It's their own brand, um, Super World, but they just are sold at Aritzia. So I just have the Super Puff in the shorty version, which is the cropped version, and I have the matte black one. And when I tell you this thing is such good quality, um, you will not believe it. It is absolutely worth the price in my opinion. I have it in a size small and it fits perfectly. The quality is there, it's super puffy. So this is definitely not only super cute, but super versatile for whatever cold weather you're living in. I highly recommend investing in a piece like this if you live in a colder environment. You guys can see the sleeves. It comes with like this little like fake little long sleeve in it. And you can also take the hoodie off as well, which I'll never take the hoodie off, but that's a good little plus if you don't like the hoodie sometimes. And of course it just zips up all the way. And I just always wanted a puffer from Superworld, so I'm really glad I invested in it because I will have this from years and years and I think it'll definitely serve its purpose. It already has. It keeps me so warm. The water just bounces right off and doesn't like go into the material. It's weatherproof, it's waterproof, it's amazing. So I'm so glad I have a puffer from Superworld. I'm super, super excited. And I'll have this link down below. They literally have a million colors, like any color you can think of. They have it on the website and they also have different versions. This is the cropped version. They have a longer version, a version that goes all the way down to like your ankles if you like are looking for that. And they have like glossy versions as well. So anything to suit your needs, Super World has it. So I'm so excited to continue to wear this during the winter, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up last time at Aritzia. So those are the clothes that I got from Aritzia. Now I wanna jump into some of the things that I got from Sephora, so not too, too much, but definitely some items that I'm excited to show you guys. So the first item that I got from Sephora is this body lotion. This is by the brand Necessaire. I have heard so many good things about Necessaire and I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, but um, this is just the body lotion and this is fragrance-free. 
which is good because I get allergies when things are like very floral and fragrant, which sucks sometimes. So I always sneeze when I put on lotion. So this is a nice change. It has niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin E, and a lot of omegas. And yeah, I just always wanted to try something from Necessaire. So this is what I picked up. Packaging is really pretty. I like how it's just like white and plain. I think it's really cute. I'm super excited to use this lotion all over my body after the shower. So I'll let you guys know how I like this. Maybe I'll feature it in like a winter favorites video if I do like this. So stay tuned for that. But this is the first thing that I picked up from Sephora. The second thing that I picked up from Sephora is, of course, a beauty blender. I go through these things like water, just a simple tan beauty blender, always gotta have them. Next, from Sephora, I picked up this new sunscreen. This is from the brand Dr. Jart, and it's the Every Sunday Mineral Sunscreen, and this has SPF 50 plus. I just wanted to try a new sunscreen. I'm currently using the Elsa MD one, and I've used it for a while now, but right now I feel like it's kind of making my skin a little bit oily, and I'm like not down for that. So I just want to try a new SPF so I've seen a good reviews on this one so I wanted to give this a try this is what it looks like and the packaging is really cute a little scary trying a new sunscreen because sometimes they break you out hopefully it doesn't break me out yeah I'm really excited about this product so my last thing that I got from Sephora is from Sephora collection and it is a retractable eyeliner so I use a pencil eyeliner for my eyeliner um, I find it just way easier than a liquid liner I'm not that good at liquid liner so I love a good pencil liner and I like retractable as well so you don't have to like sharpen it I'm currently using a NYX one and it broke on me so I just want to try something new Sephora collection is really inexpensive and they have really good quality things I think this was like $13 super nice and then the end also has a smudger if you want to smudge it out which is super cool I got it in the shade matte brown slash black I also prefer dark brown brown eyeliner because sometimes black can be a little bit harsh and I feel like brown just is more natural and you can smudge it out and brown you just have like more leeway if you mess up if that makes sense I also love Sephora collections rouge gel lip liner i think that's what they're called they're really really nice as well so sephora collection is awesome i love them so this is the last thing that i picked up from sephora so the next thing that i wanted to show you guys are these shoes that i just got so these are the nike dunk lows in the colorway black and white this is what they look like i think they are so cute i don't have any shoes that look like this a lot of my shoes are like plain white i have like nike air force ones i have white slip-on vans white supergas i am just like a white tennis shoe type of gal i know this isn't like stepping too much out of my comfort zone but i really don't have any like black shoes like this and i think they're so so cute i believe these are called like the panda dunk lows but regardless they're in the black and white colorway and i got these from stock x i think you can get them on goat too as well i got them in a woman's size 7 and they fit absolutely perfectly so i'm a true size 7 so if you guys are looking for what size you are in dunk lows i know you guys can't try these out in person you always have to like buy them on these third party shops then if you are a size 7 then definitely go for your size you don't have to size up don't have to size down i think these are so so cute and go along with any outfit fit um so i'm super excited to break these out and wear them and let me know what other colors you guys like for these nike dunk clothes and any other colorways that you think are cute down below i would love to know but i'm super super excited to wear these so i want to show you guys one random thing that i picked up at target the other day which is a piece of clothing it looks like this it's just like this little brown cardigan and it has two little buttons going down and these buttons are like super cute i don't know if you can tell they're kind of like glossy and like glass like super cute this is by the brand wild fable i hardly buy any clothes at target but their clothes are so cute reminds me of the skims material if you know what i'm talking about and skims is obviously really expensive so this shirt was 26 dollars, and i got it in a size medium i am really obsessed with it okay we are nearing the end of this haul i want to show you what i picked up at the apple store super random but i thought i put it in this haul anyways first thing that i picked up was an iphone case this is the iphone 14 pro max silicone case and this is in the color storm blue so it's like this navy blue color how pretty is that kind of showing up as black on camera but in person it's like a true navy blue color so it is so cute if you guys haven't seen my iphone 14 pro max unboxing i'll leave that down below so you guys can check that out these cases are super good quality i love the silicone feeling and they last me a very very long time i like to just switch them out every now and then so i'm gonna switch my pink one to this navy blue one last thing that i picked up from apple is this mophie portable magnetic stand it looks like this and i just wanted a magnetic stand just for like when i facetime people and you can put this on your nightstand or wherever you want and it's just good to have like when i'm editing my videos or you want your phone to stand there or literally whatever and i like how this is non-charging too because sometimes 
you don't want to charge your phone the entire day when it's just sitting on the stand so this is just something random but yeah i really like the brand mophie too so super excited to use this so that was the end of my little collective haul i hope you guys enjoyed watching everything that i got like i said i'll try to have everything that i talked about in this video linked down below for you guys of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out i post videos every single week and i'll see you guys in the next video bye